Let's do sports now. On uh, join us today with me, Muftar Nabila Abla, former House of Oak head coach Samuel Boedu. He has been appointed the technical director of uh, lower tier side Connor Stones. Boedu, who was fired by Accra House of Oak last season after some poor performances in the Ghana Premier League, was subsequently appointed as a head coach of the Black Satellites, replaced as seen. Uh, Maxwell Konedu, who was in charge of that team, and also Abdul Karim Zito, who led the team to participate in the UAFO competition as well as the CAF under 20 competition, which took place in uh, Mauritania, where Ghana won the championship. Uh, Samuel Bredu led the Black Satellites to the UAFO B competition in Cote d'Ivoire early this month, where the Black Satellites had some uninspiring performances. But um, Connor Stones feels that he's the right man to stir the technical affairs of the team and he's been appointed to lead the team in its new technical direction. Still on stories that has to do with lower tier football, a US based group, Soccer for Dreamers, has presented assorted items to six clubs participating in the Women's Division I Championship. This is to ease the difficulty in their pathway of becoming top footballers in the future. There's more in the following report. A non-governmental organization based in the United States of America, Soccer for Dreamers, have taken it upon themselves to support the less privileged footballers in Ghana. The Social Intervention Initiative has been running for a couple of years now. This time around, the donation was done in Chebi to the six clubs participating in the Women's Division 1 Championship. Items presented included menstrual cups, wristbands and soccer training kits. A gesture the young ladies will not forget. Chairman of the Eastern Regional Football Association, Limfora Samoa, who represented the GFA, expressed gratitude to the group. I believe strongly that um, what our madam and his children has done is a great initiative for development of football. I happen to be United States um, visiting some summit with the uh, Rice Soccer where they have a different concept of football administration. Over there, parents pay for everything for their kids from six years up to the middle age for playing soccer. Over here, it is completely opposite. The administrators here are doing something called voluntary work by way of selecting young, talented, and privileged footballers to ensure that they get future for the game. And I'm happy that you guys are all the way in the United States are thinking about we in Ghana here. Thank you very much for listening to this. Education on football, menstrual hygiene, and training was also provided to help develop the players. Uh, we make sure that we are combating menstrual poverty uh, through giving them menstrual cups. We educate them and we give each girl a menstrual cup to make sure that menstrual poverty is not, hit, is not uh, hindering anyone from achieving their dreams. Okay. Sometimes, uh, as women, we forget the importance of, of uh, of menstrual hygiene, the word hygiene and why it's involved uh, because you know the whole area for the feminine uh, for the woman is quite uh, sensitive and delicate and so it's important that we know that we need to wash our hands during our menstruation we need to wash our hands before and after any management of of any uh, menstrual method that we use and so we wanted these young women to be fully aware of um, of what is available and what it means we don't want them to have infection and that is what happens when you don't practice uh, menstrual hygiene they do get um, a huge amount of infection so we want to prevent that 
Soccer for Dreamers has been beneficial to many footballers in Ghana through their mission of benevolence. That's your sports for now. We do have more sports stories on myjoyonline.com and also at 2 p.m. when my colleague Natalia Ato comes your way with sports today. Up next is World News.